hello and welcome back to my channel as you may have known from the name of the video uh today we're going to be talking itc i know that itc is being written in three weeks 21 days from now so today we're talking how to ace that itc exam as you may know from the channel my name is mochi famba and i'm a person read my itc in 2018 and so if you've watched my video about cta which i'm going to put on the description uh box and link to this video you might have known that i ended up passing my cta with 50 55 65 50 or something like that so my marks were not really that great and i wasn't so confident going into my itc that i would pass and i remember i then got the added pressure of i was supposed to then go to work that December. so our results came through early late november um i was supposed to work on one december and then i wanted to write a tc uh in january this was before covid so i wanted to to be sure that i i was ready so what i actually did was i actually requested the good employer of mine to say you know what i can't start work now may i please start after the it6 and because i was that not confident i was that unconfident not so confident i don't know the word but i was that not so confident about the exam and passing it and and now looking back at the story of this year's itc results my heart broke because psycho and i and i guys they were all saying this is the lowest like it was the record low pass rate that has been done because you know the thing with itc is it's not a person coming from university this is a person who has passed cta and you get 30 something percent in terms of um pass rate and i was reading through the reports and i think most of it which is understandable is coming from the fact that um people the pandemic it took a toll of a lot of people and with school work you need to be in the best of mental health to concentrate to, to to actually put what you know on paper and i feel like that is why a lot of people were affected by the pandemic and also having to study for so long i have affected a lot of people so yeah it was really a sad situation so i thought to sit down today and to just do a video on what are my tips what worked for me in terms of passing my it sim so what i did was after the results came through i knew i had a 50 in manak and i think the other subject was ordered so the first tip that i'm going to give you is that uh do a SWOT analysis look at what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses <laughs> the opportunity and prices, whatever but do a strengths and a weaknesses test what are you good at what are you not good at not what you think you know but what do your cta results tell you like for me it told me my city my fun my finnock my audit they were not so good so what i actually did was i devoted more time towards my finnock and my um in my audit um that's the first thing look at your weaknesses look at your strengths define them and make sure that when you now do your strategy we'll get to strategy later it speaks to these strengths and weaknesses and then two know that itc means initial test of competence you need to show that you're competent now a lot of people say that cta is harder than itc i don't know how i don't know and i cannot speak on that because for me they would a bit of the other is just an extension of the other so you need to make sure that your technical is on point and you need to make sure that you also have the strategy to put your technical on paper so i've never been a question paper people question paper person never used to do question paper didn't believe in green books whatever i just read whatever to understand and whatever which is good you need it you need to read to understand but you yes you need to really understand for you to actually be technically competent but you also need to know how to answer the questions so 
look at your competence your stamina how well do you know what you're talking about and how well can you explain it on paper the third thing that i think helped me a lot was the board course i did the board course with caa uh i know that i don't know if there are any other board courses in zim uh but i'm i know there's they study content from other south african universities you can always run a south african universities except for techs of course but you need to make sure that you uh, you do for me i did the board course i but the employer paid for it got my my study material uh i then uh went to uh icas that's where i was studying from and i was just going through that board course religiously because you know what the people that prepare the board course most likely have experience in marking and setting itc exams so they really know what it is that is the expectation and they prepare the content uh specifically towards the exam and i think for manak and for finnak that really helped me so much then you then the number four five trick is you need to have a unique strategy a specific strategy for itc now i know that it's just three weeks away the exam is just three weeks away uh but three weeks is a long time i think i passed the exam in the first 21 days of december because that's when i used to go to icas i used to go to icas in the evening because we used to have lectures uh evening so uh, lectures would finish around seven then i would go to icas actually and study until the morning then come back home so you need to have a strategy lay out your days how many days remain uh how many day, how many days remain how many things don't i know allocate what you don't know to days and so that you also keep track and you also keep yourself accountable like today i need to cover as 21 sctr um and then you can tick off at the end of the day have i managed to cover this if you haven't you push it on to the next day so have a live i used I call it a life calendar because for me i had to list all standards and look at okay so which one do i know which one don't i know which ones can i do in two days which ones do i need a full day on because i don't really know them and i need to uh focus to focus more on that then um so you need to put up that strategy in place but you also need to take care of your mental health that's another trick i overdid it as i'm telling you i went to sleep i would sleep at aika's the library uh people would leave two three one two three people would leave uh, but i knew i had so much stuff to cover so i wanted to study up until the morning then i would get i didn't have a car by then so i would get combis that would be coming from i don't know vinona going to the market in the morning uh with the ladies i'm seeker that's the late that's those are the combis that i would take to then come back home in the morning i wasn't going to work so i would get home and then sleep probably up until 11 12 then wake up then do the house thing is and then prepare to go back to town so that was my routine but i think i got bent out because i think after doing that for like three to four weeks i was done i couldn't i couldn't focus anymore because i was doing it every day so you also need to perfect it in time to rest because some i tried to read like the beginning of january i was trying to read i could not read i don't want to lie i would read like i'm reading a novel but to internalize things i was just that tired and saturated so reading wasn't working anymore so take care of your mental health you do need to do that then the other thing is utilize your friends and your groups because for me when i then realized that i couldn't read anymore on my own what i did was i utilized my best friend we we're going through the same thing together but she was stronger in finnick so whenever or another subject so we did a lot of discussions we did a number of discussions so utilize your friends you know when you're if like, you can even pass it out you don't have to go like i did like four weeks coming back home in the morning and then get burnt out you don't it doesn't have to be like that you can actually just space in like you're studying then like in the evening you do a, a discussion in so that at least it's um it's not as a as much of a gruesome way of learning and internalizing things then the other thing the last tip that i'm going to give you i don't know seven eight is 